Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the continuation of Dave the Diver here on the Chair Professional Walkthroughs channel with me, your host, Max. So in the previous episode, so much stuff happened, I still don't know what's gonna be the thumbnail, but probably at the point of me publishing this on the channel, I have already made up my mind. Uh, but yeah, we had a rematch with the VIP. I was able to help cure the cough of the uh, blacksmith, or almost cure the cough of the blacksmith. The manatee baby got missing, a beluga has been missing, we saw a whale in the arctic region, I used a narwhal to drill a hole through an ice, then I used a leatherback turtle as a projectile to break ice. There was just so much stuff going on. It was absolutely incredible. So if you haven't seen it Definitely go check it out the link to the previous video is in the video's description as well as the entire playlist I kind of do need the views. I'm not gonna apologize for that. But anyhow uh, On this one we have another specialized event which is in relation to serving sharks so we're gonna have to put up with a lot of that stuff now i need to go and uh, check out my farm check out my fish farm and see what can be done on the previous night we were able to do quite the profit and i was introduced also to crab pots so uh, chances are I might want to invest into upgrading that because what I was able to find out is that it seems like you can only do one uh, What is it one uh, crab pot per dive so maybe by upgrading it I will be able to do it multiple times it seems like I have received a bunch of eggs Which means I will have to invest into quality feed as well Okay, starting off quite well with the rice harvest. Gonna definitely have to replenish this, but this is the rice patty at the maximum potential. But this should definitely yield enough rice for me to even be willing to upgrade certain dishes. But I'll definitely have to look into what I'll be able to serve today to the guests as sharks are gonna be like the, the top, top, top of the top. Okay, so I have some eggplant and green beans were the things which I was able to get. Um, eggplant, garlic, onion, onion. Oh man, this one got ruined. That's most unfortunate. So I think I'll have to buy some. Let's go with some cherry. No, I don't think we've planted wheat, so let's go with that as well. And because we have uh, different crops set up to reach maturity at different time, I definitely want to upgrade the farm, but that upgrade alone is 13 grand. So we're gonna see, we also have to talk to the sun. Uh, what is... Let's grab one carrot. Plant it in there. And let's... Uh, I'm gonna have to check the feeder. High quality feed. Uh, 708 is quite pricey, but it's probably worth it. So I'll go for it. And let's see what he has to tell us. So let's... What's up, Sammy? Well, I'm preparing my new album and I haven't done any live shows. So I'm a bit short on cash. Ah, oh, I see. I'd like to help you run your farm as part-timer. What do you think? A part-time job? Yeah. Yeah, I'll help you harvest crops, sow seeds and weed, fertilize your field. That sounds actually pretty good. I used to help my dad run his farm when I was a kid. I mean, what... 
It was a while ago, but I can still handle a part-time job. Right, so how do we do this? Talk to me whenever you need an extra hand. You can even decide how many days you want me to work at your farm. Mm. Alright. We can help each other out. Uh, so from now on you can hire Sammy to work on your farm. Sammy can harvest crops, sow seeds and fertilize and wheat fields. Now uh, let Sammy take care of your seeds and fertilizers. It will make farming much easier. You can select how to use fertilizer and types of seeds to plant. Okay, that means that I'm gonna have to probably purchase some actual seeds to have in stock. Which is gonna a little bit consume a portion of my profits. I do have fertilizer. I have kind of dealt with the weeds, so I don't know higher. Three days for six grand. I can sow seeds, wheat fields, and harvest crops. We're not gonna have anything right now because it's gonna take a while for me to like replant the rice even probably. So that's gonna raise a few questions when it comes to hiring him, but it's a decent option to have. Let's take a look at the fish tanks. I don't want to spend all of my cash because I want to see the upgrade to the crab pots and see what it can do. Yeah, we definitely have to reduce the density of this thing. Holy fudge sickle. Uh, so this is what I usually tend to do like off the record, but I'll see if there are potentially sharks that I'll be able to send to the kitchen. So yeah, I'll speed up through this and I'll catch up and muster with you later. Okay, I'll definitely won't have a shortage of sharks, just based on what I'm looking at here. Yeah, that's a decent shark delivery. Tiger shark, smooth hammer hat, rail shark, mega mouth. Those will help out. I'm gonna feed the kitties. Let's give you the common food this time. And we will definitely mess around with what can be done. Holy fudge, that's a lot of dishes. Is anything made out of actual sharks? Blobfish, I'll have to have that. Green hump hat, onion turmeric. Salmon snailfish, gelatinous snailfish, cherry tomatoes. Definitely have to get my hands on those. Atlantic bonito. Wheat, uh, I've planted. Great A egg, cherry tomatoes. Crystal lobster. Okay, that I have not seen. Sally Lightfoot Crab. I don't know if those are those jumping little bastards. I'll have to figure out how to get my hands on those. Uh, lobster. Blouse's fan. Okay, so this is like a, a specific high-end meal made out of the legendary shark, which we already battled. It's like two episodes back or so. So theoretically, if that's a, a fin out of Megalodon, which is a shark, if I were to serve that meal tonight, I think that's uh, a great idea. Anglerfish, okay. I see the potential in that. Uh, so if I were to put in 
this sucker shark meat. Yeah, I definitely think this should make it onto the menu. Other than that, I'm going to try to focus on getting my hands on more sharks. Uh, but, of course, that can go all sorts of ways. Unfortunately, because we have the special event, I cannot do nighttime diving. And because on the previous episode or the previous night, I had to deal with the VIP guest. I wasn't also able to go nighttime diving. So I'm kind of limited when it comes to some of this, but holy crap, I have now ridiculous amount of rice to work with, which is absolutely awesome. And will definitely yield some amazing results, but I'll definitely, ooh, definitely have to consider focusing my attention on sharks. I love this cutscene so much. The look of that fish behind Bancho is priceless. But I really have to say that I did kind of enjoy one sequence during the previous episode. And that was while like battling the VIP, we actually were responsible to do the chopping of the ingredients and like stir frying stuff in the wok and frying meat in a different pot it, it was it was a lot of fun it was like inception of inception mini game within a mini game uh i wanted to upgrade the damn dish did i do that i think i did that okay Copper shark, that's really hard for me to come across. Yeah, it's gonna be probably primarily shark. So even this shark head dish would probably do some benefit. We get five portions. But I'll probably serve the Megalodon dish. I don't know if I want to enhance this because it's at maximum level. So this will give me 10 portions by itself. Mako. I don't know if I'll be able to further enhance the dish if I've already added it to the menu, so I'm gonna hold on to messing around with those things. A little bubba. Mochi. Mochi mochi. Okay, so focus is gonna be sharks. And the thing is. Uh, we were also told that that one location in the glacial area where the current is like flowing outside of that region should be weaker today. So Dave should have an easier job of getting specifically there. So I kind of feel like I really need to try and get myself there specifically. So that's, that's something to consider as well. That's something to consider as well. What you got? What you got for me? Uh, calls an ROV to the current location. This is a great thing, but I found out that it does not work for certain things. So I tried to use this for like sailfish and it, it just broke. Probably, I don't know if it's because there was also the hammerhead uh, along with it, but it, it just did not work the way I wanted it to so it was absolutely amazing when it came to capturing tuna but I didn't know if I'll be guaranteed that it's gonna do the same for me now and I wanna I wanna I wanna take a look at one thing I wanna see if I can upgrade the knife and I wanna also check this so i can increase the number of deployments to two this will increase my cargo capacity to 900 to 1000 uh, 155 kilos uh 
I can do one or the other. I cannot do both. That's the problem. Okay. And one thing which I have not invested into in a while is the staff members. There's an achievement that you need to like get a staff to level 20. I have honestly no idea how I would even reach that. Level 3, level 3, level 5. So we can invest into... Lovely team members. I honestly don't know how things are gonna work when I'll eventually have to open up like a second branch, a tip master. That sounds awesome. I don't seem to have access to the second skill yet. And right now, like hiring new members is pointless to me because I don't have room for more people. So that's most unfortunate. And greeting prep master sounds absolutely amazing. So therapy, if I would open up a new location, uh, I can put Raul into the kitchen and Kyoko to serve. Because unfortunately, Maki, who's story related, has absolutely terrible stats on procurement and appeal. Uh, theoretically, Tohaku can do service and other stuff, but. Akiyoko is absolutely killing it with service, so uh, Raul, on the other hand, has every stat at the same exact point, which is absolutely hilarious to me. I don't know how to... In uh... Seems to have prepared something, okay? And what, what is the, the something? How do I interact with the something? what I need to figure out. I don't want to burn through all of my funds, so... It just shows that there's still a lot of things which I don't know about. But okay, let's, let's go. Ah, uh, and this is a tricky one. I think I'll just do a regular dive, try to get to the glacial zone afterwards so that we have again a content packed episode and I'll try to capture as many things along the way which are shark related. But I'll have to figure out uh, how exactly does a location for a crab pod look like in the upper regions because so far I've only seen it in the glacial zone and so chances are maybe there's some sort of uh, location which I need to look out for that I have not noticed yet or have not observed as of now which would be most unfortunate but yeah with the upgraded capacity slightly fingers crossed I'll be able to get my hands on some decent chow. Maybe there'll be something that I'll be even able to get my hands on or use the net for. to have a 
definitely don't want to use the DM drone for this one. That'd be just a waste of drone. want to mess around with the harpoon tips these ones aren't that great as is because we're literally at the surface level and you see you see there are now locations for this okay um uh, yeah i'll definitely need to grab some fish that can be used as potential bait and i found a place for the trap and I don't have two keep an eye out on this knucklehead over here if I deploy the steel trap correctly it should be able to capture the stupid tuna here just have to make sure that the other fish here won't get in the way so I'm even willing to like zap this knucklehead please 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 awesome so just like that two bluefin tunas Great catch, great catch. I'll go ahead and grab the last one. Oh, uh, you know what? I have to use the damn drone, huh? Damn it to hell. Okay, it seems like the lobster trap or the crab pod has already yielded results. Oh wow, I actually got uh, quite a lot of lobsters there. Did not expect that at all. Uh, I think I've used up quite a lot of sea urchins as well upgrading a dish. So getting the urchins would be nice as well. Primarily looking for these uh, scrap pieces because I've upgraded recently the rifle to the third tier so that consumed through a lot of this scrap i don't care about the lionfish to be perfectly honest with you if i can outswim them okay uh the titan trigger fish seems to have worked quite well as a potential bait You have to keep in mind that if you uh, leave the water and you have left the crab pod in here, uh, you're gonna lose whatever was potentially caught. Holy shindig, what's up with the tunas? The, the problem is I cannot believe... If I would have known that there's also yellow fin, which I have a lot more of then I would have not gone so crazy spending all the steel traps on just the blue fence because if I would be able to like simultaneously capture like two or three of these knuckleheads that would have been absolutely amazing Already we have result in the crab pod, so it does not even take that long, which is shocking. The benefit of this is that it should zap and potentially transfer. No, the, the, this is the paralyzing one, so this is not the one with the electrocuted tip. That one is slightly better because. The result might be that you actually paralyze or damage more of them simultaneously. Okay, so let's see what's waiting for me in here. I can't believe that the Titan Triggerfish worked so well. So 
how many lobsters do I freaking have? One, two, three, four. Wow, that's a lot. And that's just the blue one. No, even more. Okay, I need bullets in order to finish off at least few of the tunas. I could have sworn I saw somewhere ammunition. Yeah, I'm kind of like smacking myself over the head, uh, thinking that I screwed up there with the deployment of the two steel traps and one was used for just one stupid... Uh, Uh, tuna, but it was the blue fin. And this guy is gonna give me the head for the meal. Lionfish, I'll definitely get rid of. Problem is, I think I've injured different fish, so I have to get to the bottom here. In order to... Yeah, I have a lot of capacity now, so... One more tuna. If I'll be able to hit the damn target. If I'll be able to hit the damn target, like I said. Oh, come on. Dave. Buddy. I know it's my skills that suck here, but... Come on, man. Okay, got hit there a few more times. Most unfortunate, but we're leaving the yellow pins here. Uh, I'm already at 60 kilos. I've used up all of the uh, lobster or crab pots, so yeah, the shock harpoon is the one which carries the damage to the surrounding fish. Soy sauce, absolutely awesome. Definitely want that. That is a tricky resource to get your hands on. I don't think there's actually a meal that goes with sharks that would utilize soy sauce. But okay, we're serving the Megalodon during a shark event. So that alone should uh, boost the overall happiness of our customers quite a lot i'm looking for some oxygen honestly right now don't want to use up the spare oxygen tank i want to hold on to that as a potential lifeline in case i do something stupid which quite frequently is done by me because as the name implies not your professional walkthroughs this is not the channel of gaming excellence I really have to check if someone has claimed that name by now, just for the hell of it. One of these days, I'll do it. Not make the channel, I'll just check if someone claimed the name. <laughs> okay, let's see if there's gonna be sailfish. In this location is definitely the hammerhead. But the sealfish is more rare and appears only during only during rainy days here. Uh, if I honestly would use the drone on any other shark, I think if I'll get to like the glacial zone, try to use it on the shark that thing is freaking massive so are we gonna get our sailfish he's here now 
you just not F it up, huh? So last time I was here, I kind of screwed up because... I've tried to deploy the steel trap. And I, I get kind of like surrounded by the hammerhead and the sailfish all at the same time. Which led to some really bad results. And the steel trap was not able to, like, capture all of these, so, I don't know. Now, the real question is if I can somehow get these knuckleheads, or not really. There are the stones, which I can theoretically drop onto them. to be careful with their weird ass jumps oh come on seriously really I have to use the damn oxygen I need to get them away from the stones I said away from the stones not get freaking hit by them Still absolutely terrible. Okay, these guys, they don't have that much capacity, worst case scenario. I'll say goodbye to them. Most of my carrying capacity is already occupied, so it was a good call to actually get my hands on the upgrade to the carry or the storage. So that's cool. Uh, yeah, could have had more luck with the yellow fins, that's for sure. Wanna avoid the buffer? I don't care about the Barracuda. Uh, have plenty of, honestly, uh, tiger shark meat. The largemouth shark is potentially what I would look into, but uh, concerning the fact that I'm also having like a steady supply of those knuckleheads. Fish tanks, not not really requirements. Let's discard this knucklehead though. Definitely wanna hold on to the lobsters. That that is absolutely gonna happen. Kidding. I've invested into the damn crap pot, so I wanna get the maximum potential out of it. Okay, so this seat of the map is different, so we have to travel across to the right side in order to get to the deeper waters. Not that far, quite a lot of these uh, sharks, but if I would get the ones from the glacial zone, they just yield better, better results. A pickaxe would be nice though, but uh, yeah, I don't, definitely don't need a tiger shark because I have been able to ship like four tiger sharks at least uh, to the kitchen, so we will be well supplied there. A pickaxe would be nice because if I get pickaxe, and you usually obtain pickaxe in this region specifically, uh, I would be damn sure to mine the resources from the glacial zone. Usually you need to find some sort of specific zone for the pickaxe to appear. It can be like next to a deposit of some sort, like uh, the opal. But in this case... Don't see it. And we have one more dive to go and 
get even more shark meat. But I'm still holding on to that one charge of the actual drone, if I recall correctly. Rubber chicken you can hold on to. Uh, I've tried to, to get this one on the previous uh, dive or previous episode. See if I can get the row of it in order to reproduce it in the fish tank. It unfortunately did not work. I need the damn pickaxe. That's that's what I'm looking for right now. I'll be able to snatch this stone and see if the pickaxe is in here. I'll definitely won't be keeping the stargazer. This was actually a fish which we needed uh, in the VIP challenge, so that was kind of fun. Uh, unfortunately, because I've only seen me being able to uh, get these suckers by like dropping the stone onto them, I, I don't have a better quality of them. I don't know if there's a way for you to somehow breed or improve the quality of the fish that is like available to you. Okay, so you see, because this is here, I can use the knife because it's been upgraded, but uh, if I would have pickaxe, usually by the deposits of the opal, there tend to be in these crates of pickaxe. I, I still don't know what the hell am I going to use the shovel for, if I'm being completely honest with you. Okay, getting soy sauces, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, crap, don't have... No more charges, huh? Please don't attack, I'm just looking for whatever is in here. Even though it's the basic cat food, I'll take it. If I'll feed the kitty like six or more times or eight more times, there's another achievement in it for me. And like, I honestly want to make a weird video about like why I usually don't care about achievements. It's gonna be, if I'll manage to make it, it's gonna be kind of wacky, but uh, definitely something which will be a potential content I we'll just have to make some decent script for it so that it can be like another discussion video the last one I did was for the price of the video games and considering the fact that I played Alan Wake 2 for 45 bucks compared to the, the new Assassin's Creed which is probably for 60 or more bucks hell Recently, another Call of Duty Modern Warfare has been released for 70 and what's original about the new Call of Duty, you know? But the Alan Wake for 45 bucks and I got like over 20 hours of content out of it. Like, are you kidding me? Anytime. Anytime. That's, that's definitely a much, much, much better result. So we were asked to uh, look for the uh, turtle, which they have in here, or turtle. Uh, we were asked to at the gambling uh, location to look for the octopus, which has gone missing into the glacial zone. Unfortunately, no idea where. I heard you saved Tucci and Donna from a cave. Thanks, Dave. Yeah, escaping was quite a challenge. Tucci can be single-minded when she's getting seaweed, but it's thanks to him I got some new seaweed. Haha. <laughs> it's called a bladder rack. I thought I'll make some delicious dumplings with it. I added it to your menu. Try it. Okay, uh... has chance to gather more seaweed increases movement speed by 8%. I honestly like the this one. 
because it uh, boosts your uh, damage resistance and then also increases your overall speed, so I think I'll go with these. Uh, we can skip this one because I have seen that cutscene a lot of times. Uh, honestly, the cutscenes in this game are absolutely awesome. Like, the team behind this game, holy crap, they, they have outdone themselves. I absolutely love this game. Th this is probably the third best gaming experience I have had this year. It probably goes Alan Wake 2, Resident Evil 4, and then Dave the Diver, which, which is absolutely just different genre on its own. But I'm actually surprised at like how uh, different I've noticed that how many games I kind of uh, play through this year. Oh, uh, we can get some of these. And these, they are new. And I need to check the status. Okay, so adult means we can harvest. So let's plant these. That will be a pleasant change. I'll go drop off the seahorse in my inventory. Register it for a race. I don't know honestly if... It would outperform some of these other ones, but this one might actually do quite well. Hold on, uh, why is this one locked? Probably because I haven't finished this. Okay, let's see if we can get our gambling on. Come on, come on. You can do it. I believe in you. is if we can put him into the last race as well this one will have to slide and jump yeah 117 I don't know how to like get rid of some of these I can try but I just don't think this one is gonna the, the, these two have far better statistics. And I don't know what I can do in order to... There's even like second class. Ooh, I did not even know that. try but I don't think I'm gonna win here how do I slide beneath ah fudge yeah oh, that beats me just wanna third place not good we definitely have better stats on those horses. I believe the Sea Dragon definitely a pleasant surprise. Pleasant surprise. Uh, so I need to travel to the Glacial Passage. Cargo. That's the thing. I have so much stuff right now. I'm kind of worried what would happen if I were to lose everything. So I can theoretically do is go to the Glacial Passage, try to capture something else, get uh, more shark meat. Uh, 
leave and then in the afternoon return and see if I in the afternoon can do that specific quest. I'm not gonna try to look for the octopus right now. Honestly, I've tried looking for it last time I was here and I literally traveled through like the entire location. on that small octopus so i'm not really sure where in the heck can it be hiding at again basic cat food i would have to invest heavily into the crap pots and make sure that I have a valid valid type of bait this is why I'm thinking about upgrading the knife as well we have already plenty of the ice guns so we can actually craft that weapon or am I still missing one more not sure right now all I have to do is literally pick it up Back to underwater rifle that counts as my third resource. Don't really want the crab. If I'll swim through here, I can make it down to where uh, the Greenland shark uh, tends to reside. hoping to actually hit the arctic octopus there wasn't lucky enough as one pesky octopus with the harpoon i can at least guarantee myself two star quality Crap, I was hitting literally everything on the keyboard except of A and D. How is that even possible? I don't know. Don't don't ask. Got a little carried away there. Okay, uh, I will probably not be able to pick up a pickaxe. Holy crap, I was able to pick up a pickaxe in here. That has never happened before. Okay, so this is why I'm a little worried, and this is why I don't want to go into that passage specifically. Uh, if something would have happened to me, and I would lose all of this, and be able to take only one thing out, I'll be absolutely pissed. So not a chance, we'll have to try at some other point. I was able to receive ice pick, but I have no clue where exactly is like a location that the ice pick itself would be used. As a optimal setting. I'll have to start making some goddamn curry with all this turmeric and curry blocks that I keep getting. Like, holy fucksicle. Okay, they definitely rearranged where the aquamarine is located. And I need the aquamarine for a village commission. So if I'll be able to donate two more pieces of this, then I'll be able to get more money. Ooh, mayo. Nice. Holy crap. Lots of soy sauce, mayonnaise, and other stuff. Are you kidding me? I'm absolutely loving this dive so far. Okay, there goes the other weapon. 
Let's see if we can find our Greenland shark. Where exactly would the ice pick be used even? I have no clue. So there is more ammunition. The Greenland tends to reside somewhere around these parts or this depth. Come on. If I'll swim up through here, then there is another shark. I would rather deal with the Greenland one because uh, don't risk uh, sustaining too much damage. I do have one of the oxygen tanks as some sort of safety net. Go away. If I tell you to go away, I literally mean go away. I think I saw something. I have to use both hands in order to hammer this in. I have to get rid of the damn thing, unfortunately. Okay, here is this knucklehead. So worst case scenario. I'll waste all my ammunition and not hit the damn shark. Uh, if I if I take you. I know for a fact that my movement capability is absolutely screwed. If I leave the body here, it's gonna dissipate, so... I know I'm overcumbered. Screw it. We'll find a mirror mirror on the wall. And hopefully I'll be able to get the fudge out of here. I won't be able to pick up anything else. I'm quite overcumbered here. Uh, but there's the mirror. Won't be able to pick up even the resource here, which is most unfortunate. But yeah, we have one more dive. During the second dive, I can travel uh, to the Glacial Passage again. Sticky Bomb Gun. Narwhal, Treasure, Bluefin, Lobster. Holy crap, out of this one we have 12 American Lobster. Nice, nice. Sailfish. Uh, the biggest... Sailfish, bro! Yeah. That's awesome, because that means I'll be having two sailfish, so they will be reproducing the same way as Merlin. It takes forever to get it done. Oh, wow, I even got a narwhal offspring. Uh, longfin, battlefish, bro, European lobster, bro. I have no clue where these knuckleheads are gonna be though, so I'll have to probably maybe install a new tank or something. Not sure. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll probably try to skip the boring stuff, and I'll talk to you when we're back at the glacial zone. Onion. Onyo is done. I really don't know if I want to play uh, pay Sammy. Uh, three more days for garlic. Two days. I feel like if I would pay him on the next day, it would be more uh, beneficial for me. 
to consider. And I'm actually shocked at how much it's been raining as of late. Now I want to put the compost in here. Beef that boy up. Put in some beanies. Definitely will have to purchase more seeds if I want to have Sammy then to like work on these things for me. So this is gonna give it quite the variety of things. But yeah, like I said, I'll do what I need to and talk to you in a matter of seconds. I really do wonder if I'll have to set up a new tank for the lobsters, though. Interesting. productive I uh, was able to pick up the pickaxe which is gonna help me gather the resources at the bottom there uh, quite a lot of amethyst uh, lots of miso uh, soy sauce like I, I feel like I've grabbed more soy sauce on these two uh, dives than I was able to get in God knows how many previous dives together. I got a brand new lobster, the Tropical lo Rock lab Lobster, so that's absolutely awesome. Even the California uh, Spiny Lobster is brand new, so that's absolutely dope. I unfortunately won't be able to really uh, do more right now, but I feel like I need the fried egg jellyfish, and I came across a lot of aggressive mako sharks. So I had to show them that this hydrodynamic fella is not just a whale, but a killer whale. So they learned the hard way. But okay, uh, let's see if we can... There seems to be something on the board. I don't know if it's in regards to the aquamarine, which I was able to fetch. Might be actually that. Which is why it's also important for me to have what I have. Okay, so that's the commission done. I don't have right now any seahorses or nothing like that in my inventory, so we can try to go into the glacial zone. I still should have one more charge for the drone. I was able to go to the ship's wreck and inside was a sailfish again. So that was absolutely awesome. Uh, allowed me to... Quite effectively get what I needed. I'm gonna hold on to the weapons that I do possess. And so we need to go to the left. If I'll uh, come across either the, the grayish uh, shark, whatever its name is, or the Greenland shark, I'll be bagging those. Uh, I need to pick up that sticky weapon one more time, or what's it called, in order for me to have the blueprint for crafting and then further upgrading. Okay, so we have our candidates. Pull it in. I could have sworn I had 12 rounds previously, now it's back to just 10. So I can therapy try to look for the Greenland shark, but uh, first things first, I want to have some room for whatever is waiting for me over there. And I have to be extremely careful here so that I don't F myself over by th doing something stupid. So, wow, I'm actually getting like really great drops lately, like holy fudge. 
I don't know if the Arctic octopus is gonna be oh weird. So that's perfectly fine. So let's see if we can get inside of that second temple, huh? One oxygen tank as a reserve. Mayo. Wow. I really thought that because I have a chicken farm and I'm producing my own eggs. With combination with the olive oil, I would be able to, you know, produce my own mayonnaise because that's what mayonnaise is. It's a emulsion of uh, oil and eggs. So there's that. Uh, I seriously am gonna have to look up if I have some sort of recipe for curry because I have so many curry blocks and turmeric. I'm gonna be making so much of that stuff. There must be a second switch somewhere inside, but the strong current is blocking access. What should I do? Oh, look! Are you here to help us? What are you doing here? It's dangerous here. Go back! I think he's offering a ride. Want me to ride on your back? The beluga can swim against the current. Oh boy, will it be okay? I hope I don't have to control the beluga because that's gonna be one weird, wacky adventure. Oops, wait. Okay, so in this cave you can move around with the beluga. Press left control to destroy obstacles in your way. Try to avoid the jelly fish. And now I'm like wondering if I'm gonna be missing this specific jelly fish on the menu for some reason. Holy crap, there's some sort of uh, precision in here. I wanna capture this thing. Okay, so Beluga was able to eat it. To Regain its health in case I would have sustained damage. The fudge is that. Okay, this definitely brings back some crash bandy underwater level missions to my mind holy fudge oh my god these things explode I have only three attempts. And if I fudge it up. Oh, yeah, okay. I was able to eat that. Oh my god, no! Oh, no, you gotta be serious! That's that's where I have to. Some BS on that. 
with some super jellyfish? A mommy jellyfish? Come on, give me the cutscene or whatever. I know you want to. I have no clue how to fight this thing. On the back of Beluga. No, we did come didn't come to hunt small fish, it looks all riled up, I must first calm it down. I can't use a weapon in this state. should provide access to a whole new set of fish but because I have the upcoming event tonight with the sharks I will probably uh, leave that for the next one so we will definitely definitely go I'll try to see if I can find a Greenland sucker which would be absolutely awesome or maybe one more shark 
in order to add in onto the menu, we already are going to be serving the Megalodon fin, which is a shark related meal. So that by itself, which provides like 550 uh, gold for portion by itself, should be a great boost. But if I'll yeah, throw in some tiger shark, some largemouth, uh, make nose, and the who knows what else. I don't have a large variety of like copperhead and these other ones which are like night related because lots of events have been happening as of late. So that has kind of prevented me from going egg uh, time diving and capturing some of these other species which would greatly increase the variety of the menu. But that's perfectly fine. Uh, if I'll find a Greenland one in here, I'll be ecstatic. Yeah, I don't want to pick up the frozen cod or whatever the hell that is. Okay, here we go. like 55 kilos but I feel like each yeah like 20 kilos per portion so I'm always overcumbered just by picking up this knucklehead unfortunately I don't think this uh seahorse is good enough for the race so I think I'll get rid of him Definitely want to hold on to the phantom jellyfish. So I still can like swim to the other side to see if some more ingredients can be collected. And then we can do the service. Don't really want to go deeper. Right now we're going to hold on to that for the next episode. Because I feel like uh, uh, this and the previous episode are quite content heavy and I've seen the statistics. I know that not that many people are gonna watch this but I, I just want to finish the game. I have had such an amazing experience playing it this year. It would be a shame for me to not finish it. The cat food, I can live with it. At least the baby cat will be well fed. And we won't have a problem with mice if I have a nice population of kitties living there. Okay, I I could not have reached this depth before. I don't want to go deeper right now because like I said. Holding on to that for the next one. Still have no clue where to use the ice pick though. That has been given to me by the seaweed harvester with the leather back turtle. And I haven't seen a spot where that can be used or applied as of now. know if I want to mess with you. Yeah, I can actually squeeze that in. You're lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. And I was hoping for some more rare ingredient, not cat food. I'll definitely check out this seahorse. I'll take the mayo. It. 
missing one more of these. But considering the fact that we'll have to come back in here, it's perfectly fine. So let's head to the boat and we can have our special event. Yeah, definitely save up this one. Phantom jellyfish. Make a love with that. Mako, poor beagle, white tip, treasure, long nose, hammerhead, Greenland. Technically, even these guys are considered a member of the shark family, but I'll stick directly to the sharks probably. European lobster, tropical rock lobster, California spiny lobster, long nose saw shark row. Okay. <laughs> Let's go select the menu and serve our customers. So making sure that I'll provide for sharks and we have another announcement for a VIP, huh? Now it's the fish fryer. This is Yui from NDC Station. Good to see you again. I'm Vincent Yamaoka. Here he is, appearing out of nowhere again. The previous episode of Challenge the Chef was as hot as molten lava. It was truly an interesting development. And in today's episode, a new challenger appears. Let me introduce you to Alex Cooper, Cooks' platinum rank chef from the United Kingdom. Ah, you must be the sushi chef who beat Wong Pong in the last competition, yes? <laughs> I expect a fancy restaurant than this. Your establishment is humble indeed. Oh, the, challengers is, the challenger is provoking the champion. This will be an exciting match. Today's theme is... Fry the Sea! Both the Japan and United Kingdom are popular for their fried dishes. Their dishes may look familiar, but are authentic each in their own way. Yeah, I secretly think there's there's something about the English food that makes a lot of people on those islands become extremely talented so they can get the fuck out and not eat it. Seriously, you have Queen, you have Led Zeppelin, Ozzy Osbourne, so many talented musicians, Def Leppard, I can go on, Sex Pistols, you have Rolling Stones, all these guys who are from there, and it always seems like even the jokes about like British people colonizing half of the world so they don't have to be at home and eat the food and get some spices and then not use them in the cooking. It's, it's like, it's like bad. I feel like it. This dish will please the palate of Vincent. The judge, can you guess the winner? My mouth is watering already. Like before, we will give you two days. I repeat, you have two days co to complete. Dear audience, this match will be fire. Stay tuned and see what transpires in today's challenge, the chef. So I'll have to probably prepare some wacky meal. Whoa. It Whew, it's an easy one this time. Your fried sea ram or black tiger shrimp will win the day easily. My choice is a deep sea fish, but why? There are well-known recipes and I don't want to just replicate the taste. I took up the kitchen knife to explore new ingredients and taste of the sea. The flesh of deep sea fish is usually soft and gelatinous. I will fry it and harden it to add flavor and texture. But you're not familiar with deep fish recipes. What if Vincent doesn't like your dish? Don't worry, I will cook the best deep sea fish. Today's main ingredients are cookie cutter shark, vampire squid, and binocular fish. The lineup is quite ambitious. Well, I must. I trust your hunch, Bancho. I will try to secure them. I think I actually have uh, some of them, but if I'll have to fetch them brand new, then I'll have to fetch them brand new. Okay, uh, so here goes something. Here goes nothing, huh? Uh, I was given. Ooh, buckwheat. I'm missing that. 
black vinegar. I, I don't want to research these things right now because this one I'm even like missing something in order to do this and holy crap this thing would be quite the thing to get my hands on so okay uh we have the white shark omelet so let's try to look for some sharks huh some mako what else? Definitely some Greenland. Just the price by itself is absolutely yes. Don't have enough to upgrade this one, but... Seagullfish... I want to serve specifically shark. That's 10, 10, 10, 10. That's 40 meals already. Treasure. I don't know, what, do I want to go frail is this level, Mega Mouth 294, the mouth appeal is what I'm looking at. Copper Shark, not living up to that. 120, 120, tempting, tempting. I'm looking for like, where the hell is the Tiger Shark? make an adjustment it would be the amount of portions I'm serving mega mouth copper where's the tiger am I blind or am I blind I really wish I would be able to filter based on something more frail Where's the tiger? I don't really want to serve these meals despite the fact that they have absolutely great statistics. Can enhance you, but I will not serve you. Sailfish, sailfish, yellow fin, blue fin. Where's the goddamn tiger shark? Long nose has great taste appeal. I swear to God, I cannot find tiger. Even if I'll have to click through every goddamn icon my damn self. Okay, here you go. 223, 223, both are at level 8. twelve, two hundred forty. 145, 196. Screw it, let's go 11 tiger sharks. All shark related. Let's do it. Let's kick some ass. Try to serve beverages. And 
clean the tables. I prefer pouring tea over beer. But I'll do whatever needs to be done. Okay, I see... Okay, close, 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 close. I need to go clean up that. Dish. Dish. Okay, she made it in time. Come on, guys, serve them, serve them, serve them. Crab, 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 crab. We're missing few. Good four, good four. Come on, fellas. Serve them, serve them. It's the one night when I can make truly killing. Uh, we're not gonna have a perfect service, unfortunately. So lots of meals were not served. God damn it! That sucks. I definitely tried to live up to the potential of the evening. 4.4? That's awesome. Definitely did well. Nineteen grand in profit. That's absolutely awesome. Wow, that's that's I have not had this many rainy days in a long time. Hello there, wonderful Monday. Thank you for your help. We were able to get a special in the magazine we issued today. Please keep up the good work. I'll be back on Saturday. Okay, so I have honestly no idea what's my situation with Cooksta. If we can upgrade, uh, still probably have to research a bunch of recipes, a little bit of taste, a whole lot more followers, which means, yeah, you should subscribe as well if you're watching until this point. Let's see if I care, but definitely hit the notification bell. And. On the next one, we will start preparing for the uh, next VIP. So I have these fish and uh, yeah, uh, there's a lot of stuff to do. Uh, fishes to breed, uh, farms to tend to, meals to research, all sorts of cool stuff. So if you want to know how it's going to play out, you know what to do. And I'll see you in the comments or at the next one. Thank you all for watching. Check out the channel. Links are in the description and everywhere else. And see you soon.